Welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker, and today we're going to go out and do us a little bit of prospecting. That's right, gold prospecting. I'm out here in Arizona. I'm at the Granite Wash Mountains, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do me a little bit of digging in one of the washes and get some material, and then I'm going to run them through this little uh, hand-operated hand pump gold grabber mini gold grabber is what they call that that's what i was going to be doing today so uh i want to thank you guys for coming along sharing on all these adventures i'm just out here on this bumpy ass road right now it says it's about almost eight o'clock in the morning oh i gotta climb up this hill right here oh crappers and that's uh and it's 68 degrees. We are in October, so we're starting to cool down a little bit. But, uh, so I've got about a 20 minute drive is all, not very long to get out where I'm going to. And then we're gonna see if we can get us some gold, but I'll show you this uh, piece of equipment that I picked up. But anyways, wanna thank you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. So hey, let's just go see if we can get us some gold. And thanks for coming along, guys. Well, here I am, look at that. Sun is just getting ready to come up over the mountaintop now. A little chilly still. Sun is down there. It's just not quite up on us. Peaceful out here. Nobody's out here. I'm gonna be digging, getting my material out of this wash over here. So that's the first thing I wanna do is find out where I wanna get my material at. But we'll go down in here. Look at all this bedrock right here. But we'll go down in there and we'll read this wash where I think the best place to get my material at. And I will fill up a bucket and then bring it back up here and set up this equipment and uh, see if we can find any gold. But let me get a bucket, a shovel, and a pick, and then we'll walk on down there. That's kind of steep to walk down in here. Ugh, that's how you kind of get hurt walking down in these out places. Oh, crap. Uh, slide down here on, and then you end up on your rear end. Uh, that's not pretty. That's not pretty. Uh, should have found a better way down. Look at all this bedrock. Well, so this is flowing down through here. Now this is all bedrock. And it's all starting to pile up right here. It started to pile up. So it started to pile up through here, this gravels, dirts, all the way up there. So something right at the front of that started stopping this stuff from being pushed down any further and then it just started backing up all the way down here so uh, looking for an area to dig at there's a difference in your bedrock right there see how it changes colors oh and you see this bedrock right here and then you got all this dirt. And then on the other side, you got the bedrock again. So this bedrock keeps going. 
But right here would have been the middle of this stream or what they would call the gut of the stream. And this is where the material started backing up at. So if I was running a dry washer, I'd probably want to just open me a hole right here and start running some material. But since I'm just going to get a sample, I got to find a more better area where like it would have dropped out at. I call it the bank. I got to find not a creek bank. Of course, they're all creek banks, but I got to find the bank is where the gold would have been falling out and being collected at in the bank. That type of a bank, like a collection deposit. So I got to try to find that area. Look at these big boulders and stuff. Uh, big rocks. So see here's a bunch of bedrock right here. So it's come around that bend and then it started backing up it looks like right here and then right here too so things started backing up here and then it caused a backup like on a cars on a freeway you know once the first thing stops everything else just seems to keep backing up so someplace right there there was a bottleneck or a backup something caused that to back up and then back it came Where do I want to get some dirt at? Wherever I did, that's how steep this bank is that I got to get back up at. Look at that material right here coming down. It's all laid in on top of that bedrock right there. That might be some good stuff right there. That might be some good stuff. Right here on top. All this stuff on top of this bedrock right here. That might be some good stuff right there. It's all piled up. High bench area. Might be a critter hole right there, too. That could be a little good area to get in and sample. You can also see it's dropping right here. Elevation. Poof, 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 poof. Oh, it drops in here. Now, this is piling up after the drop. All of this in here, too. So, this is all kind of good area to get into as well. I believe this is what I was going to do. Here's what I was going to do. Uh, let me show you. See this bedrock right here? And see this right here on top of the bedrock and right next to this bedrock? I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to pick some of this down, classify it, and take it back up there. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you can also tell it's been here a long time. See the moss in there? But that's what I was going to do. I'm just going to take this material. So, yeah. That looks good. It's nice and hard packed in there. Nobody's been in there. See all this stuff in there? All of this is good stuff. On top of this bedrock layer right here. Okay. Looks like another little critter hole there. Okay. Let me go back up and get my stuff. Come in 
a little more than half a bucket to run. That'll be a good sample to see if there's any uh, if there's any gold in there. That'll be a good sample. I just got to get it back up the top up there. I like these lids, the twist lids. They serve a lot of purpose. Hope I brought enough water. I forgot that I gotta fill the one up with water so it don't float on me. I had another thing of water. Okay. Well, let me show you this machine and how it works. Okay, this is known as a Gold Grabber 2 with the hand pump on it. So you don't have to have a motor or a battery to uh, make this work. Now, these were first came out. Alan Trees was the inventor of these. This is the Gold Grabber 2. It means it was a smaller one. So the larger ones were, were a lot bigger, you know, two, three times this size. And they were made out of, the first ones were probably made like out of tin. And then they went over to aluminum and then he started uh, molding these here. But basically what this is, is an upright sluice box. Now I've added this piece up here and here. So just so my, uh, you know, I can capture some gold up here with some miner's moss up here. And underneath there, I've got a little aluminum tray-like thing. But so the material goes here. There's a punch plate right there, half-inch punch plate. So everything larger than, than that half-inch punch plate will come out the sides right here, out these rock ports right here. There's one on each side. So this is your discharge. And then everything smaller will fall through there. And it falls on this other plate that sends it to the back it goes down, then it sends it back to the back of the sluice box. And this is your sluice box right here. And then when you're all done, you just pull this tray out right here and uh, clean up and see what you got. Now, I notice I got a crack in my holes. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wouldn't be prospecting if uh, you didn't have problems. I got to see if I got any duct tape to fix that. But this is the Gold Grabber 2, the Mini Gold Grabber 2. Well, I hope that holds that. We'll find out here real soon. Real soon. You know, years and years ago, I used to come out here in the desert and I used to bring this machine and I bring my kid out with me. 
and I'd tell him, come on, let's go out and, you know, I'll share the gold that we find. And the first time out, he says, Dad, I think the only reason you bring me out here is because you want me to pump this thing. <laughs> I said, man, you're smarter than you think you are. But this is the way that works. You just kind of prime that and see if it's going to work. Should have tested it first. It hasn't been used in a while. In, in the water. Oh, I see. I got more cuts in my holes down here. And you can kind of see how this works. You got to put some dirt up there and pump it. Wash it on down. Put a little bit more in there. I'll just kind of sprinkle it rather than dump it in there. I see why I had my kid do this. You know, pumping like this really helps your golf swing. I should have brought a six pack with me because this is about what this is going to take. Oops. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. Take, I need somebody to, up here with me to help me take turns shovel or pumping this sucker, man. That's what I need. This is a two-man operation. Maybe three.
Okay, it's all my dirt. Now what I'm just gonna do is kinda just help it clean itself out a little bit here. First thing I want to do is this upper mat up here that I've got. Take wing nut off. Take the screen off. And then I've got me some miner's moss. Here, okay. And then I was down on the plate. Just wash it down. The bottom of some Gold. There should be some gold in here. You would think. There's a miner's moss. Stretch this out. It's cold. Just pull that, stretch that, let it release all oh, of it. Gold in there. Take that down a few times. Okay, set that aside. I'm just gonna quickly pan this out. Now this was just a test, is all this was. Just a test. I won't be disappointed if there's no gold in here. Like I said, it was just a test. Well, I don't see any gold. Maybe a flick. There's a little flick in there. Let me clean this front of this tray here up now, too. See what. in the water. Pull the tray out. And there's your material. Oh, I thought that was a piece of gold right there. But generally your gold will be right here at the very back. That's where the gold will lie at. I don't see no gold in there. I don't see no big pieces of gold in there. So uh, anyway let me tear this apart and I'll clean this all out here. This is just carpet down in here, this part. Just carpet. Okay, see the gold? Gold, look at that, there's gold in there. There's gold in there. Nothing major, but hey, for what I just did, that's not bad, huh? That's gold. Let me show you a close up of this here. Oh. I'll try to get out here in the sun so I can show you. Piece. See, real fine. There's some fine stuff right there. There's some right up here on the top of there. Look at that. Look at that. There's a little 
little flake right there. Nope, oh, that's gold. That's gold. That is gold. One nice little flake. Well, I shouldn't say nice little flake, because that's some fines. Nothing major, but there's gold there. Well, nothing major, but hey, you know what? It's gold. For just a sampling, it's gold. It's gold. Gold, gold, gold. Well, the mini gold grabber too. You don't see very many of these around anymore. And uh, this is designed. You got these uh, these uh, washers here that they uh, clip onto a to a bucket. So even if you're in a, a stream or a river, you can just set this up. Actually, you can just set it right on the ground if you want to. But recirculating is nice just to set it up on the bucket so it sits a little bit higher. But you could put the uh, the ones that just come with the 12 volt battery, their 12 volt pump, and then you can just run it off that and just pump it. Rather than have this, this is like sneaking into the backwoods and stuff. Anyway, it's all put back together again. See, so the way that this is right here with this hand pump, if I were to just disconnect that right there, I could now attach my uh, my my 12 volt pump up to there that runs on a battery or something and just run it that way too so i can bypass the hand pump if i wanted to but yeah i didn't want to haul all that stuff up here so i thought i would just use the hand pumper today well got me a little bit of gold with the gold grabber the gold grabber too just doing a little testing but I just wanted to come out here real quick and do a little fast little run. And so I uh, accomplished what I needed to do and got to use that piece of equipment. So anyways, it's a nice, gorgeous day. October here in Arizona. Doesn't get any better than this. Doesn't get any better than this. So anyways, I'm going to head back to the campground. Hey, sure appreciate you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. If you're one of my subscribers, I sure appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, you look at uh, YouTube's uh, analytics, they call it, and you see who likes and who dislikes. And, and they, there's a lot of information there, but it's amazing how more people watch the videos than actually subscribe to it. So, hey, if you enjoy the channel, enjoy the videos, please just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I sure appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And all my Patreons and channel supporters, I appreciate all of you guys. Anyways, I'm up here on a private mining claim. It's Gold Fever Prospecting Club, and I'll leave a link down below in case you want to uh, go check that out. Anyways, thanks for coming along, guys. You guys all be safe. And until our paths cross again, thanks for watching.